going on everybody? Welcome to the Truck Driver Sean YouTube channel. I am here at PCP Pedals with the Production Special Edition Pirellius Drive. There's only four of these, four of these left, or four of them that were made? Four total, because that's your artwork. All right, because my memory sucks and I don't remember shit. Um, there's four of these, one I know is sold, all right, so there's three of these left. Uh, these are ready now. Yeah. These are ready. The ones with the regular graphic, um, PCP pedals moved, so he needs just a little, little bit of time to get on those. First come, first serve is the only fair way to do this. If you're watching this video and you want this, contact PCP pedals. The owner's name is Park. Super nice guy, and uh, talk to terms and conditions with him. I will say you might get a little upset if you don't listen to what I have to say right now. So come on, come in, come on. All right, you're in, you're in, you hear me? This is hand done art. There's only four of them. When we do batches, I will be doing these. These I drew or painted myself and then park dipped them in a protective shellacky. Four of these. The other ones are just gonna have a plain, basically silhouette is what's gonna be on the other ones. So these are a little more expensive because there was, well, money put into doing the graphic, buying the supplies and stuff. It just is what it is. It costs extra money. I profit nothing from this. Uh, it's just, I want a park to build me this cool pedal. He worked on it, he came up with it, and in conversation we're always like shooting stuff. That's one thing that's awesome about Park. It's off conversation with him, and it's kind of weird talking about that with him literally standing right over here. We just talk, right? And sometimes we come up with <laughs> these crazy ideas and no one stops us from doing them. Because we're man children and we have like five bucks in our pockets at all times, so we can kind of make things happen. Because no one tells us no. Yeah, that's what happens. We're grown men making really bad decisions quite often. But anyway, the pedal is pretty badass. I will say I did a little thing on the prototype, and my prototype was real noisy. I'm going to say that other than the normal amount of hiss you get from adding the insane, when I say insane, you'll see in this video that the amount of gain that's in this thing is just preposterous. <laughs> you can actually use it as a distortion pedal if you wanted to. It's that violent. All right, very cool. So we are going to plug into this. We will use a uh, Deviant Reaper in purple, six string, and it's got Seymour Duncan blackouts in it. <laughs> My memory worked today. All right, that's gonna go uh, into this, the Pirellius drive. And then that's going to go into the Orange Rock of Verb Mark III, which is going into a custom-made four-park Ward 2x2 two two cabinet. Ward guitar cabinets 2x12. Custom. Custom, custom. It's actually quite sexy looking. Gotta say. Ward does good work. Well, let's, uh, let's see what the orange sounds like by itself, and then we'll put this on noontime and go at it. We'll grab a guitar, I'll be right back. heard with everything at noon the difference between the orange rock of Rub mark three and having the Pirellius drive on with everything at noon huge difference right we can all agree on that massive difference anyhow okie dokie yeah yeah <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is get ready to turn some knobs so now we're going to uh do the whole 
magic knob turning thing. I think that people don't understand because it's not a plug-in. It's a real pedal with knobs on it. Yeah, it's got knobs. It even has lights on the eyes when you're playing. You go clink, 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 clink. Pretty neat, right? Yeah, I think it's neat, but I'm also like 49 and stuff like that. Rattles my meat bag. Just saying. It also sucked your mom into my bed, so we both got sucked that night. All right, so uh, we're going to start this is the way I do it with these pedals. We're going to hear just what the amp is. We are using an orange Rockaverb Mark Trace, and that is a rude phone call. Can you hear that shit? Does it say anything important on that? Is that Ward? Oh, it's Dunky. Just answer it and tell him I'll get back to him. Fucking Jerry Ferrero. All right, so... Uh, hey, this is Park. Oh, Sean, Sean, get back to you. <laughs> So we're going to start right. with just the rock of verb on. I have it set so it's not sounding awesome because you want to see what this pedal will do. So the rock of verb is kind of set in a very neutral, very docile state. We'll call it as if ACDC, Leonard Skinner, and 80s Metallica had a big gang bang and a baby fell out of it at the end. That's kind of what the, it's set up as. So it's not super gainy. It's definitely not clear at all. And we're gonna see what this pedal does. All right, so again, we're gonna start with just the tone of the orange. Then we'll turn this on. It will be The level will be at zero and we'll work our way up to 100. We'll turn it back off and we'll turn it back on so you get that real contrast from 100 and zero. And we're gonna do that with all three knobs. We're gonna do it in stages. We'll do one knob at a time. All right, so here we go. See if we can uh, figure that out. You hear? We're going to go to the gain. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to hear what the amp sounds like without the pedal engaged. Then we're going to engage the pedal, start at zero, work our way up to full Chinese overdrive. And if you wonder why I call it full, full Chinese overdrive, I wish I didn't know why I do that. It's something weird my dad used to say, and I giggled like a fucking school kid when he did it because, I don't know, I thought it was funny. So, yeah, you pick up shit from your parents, right? Thank God I picked up being a decent person from my mom. All right, so let's, uh, let's turn that gain. And again, same thing. I know I just said it. I'm going to say it again because I know some of you are a little slow. I know. Because you're my people. All right. So we're going to start without the pedal engaged. We're going to engage it. We're going to work ourselves from 0 to 100. We're going to turn it off. Hear it again. Turn it back on. Yeehaw. Bang. Let's do it.
gonna go and work on the tone and we're going to uh, not only talk about this tone, but we're gonna talk about like when you're recording vocals, it picks up everything. So people really shouldn't be scratching their nuts, pulling out guitar picks, walking around because all you're gonna hear that more than the voice because it's a sudden noise change. Clearly me saying that had nothing to do with the don't walk around while doing the vocals. But hey, we'll try to fix it in post. Because Park thinks he's funny. All right, so <laughs> the tone knob, we're going to take that and we're going to start at zero and work our way up to full Chinese overdrive. And then when I got it there, we'll kill the pedal. We'll start off actually without the pedal on, we'll turn the pedal on. We'll work our way up to full, then we'll turn the pedal off, hear the original sound again, and then hit the pedal and hear it. Just like we did with the gain, just like we did with the level. All right, let's do it. <laughs> So now we're just going to dial in a tone just for what I like, which means it's going to be violent, it's going to be bright, uh, obnoxious, because, well, that's what I do. All right, let's do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
there we go. That was basically a distortion pedal, but it's an overdrive. It's just violent. And uh, yeah, Park nailed it. It sounds really good, as you can tell, it's super versatile. Um, but some people like the low tune stuff and the seven strings. Um, again, I had a conversation with Park about kind of what I like to have a pedal kind of do. And I play primarily in half step down and to about drop C. That's kind of where I live. I do get out the seven string to entertain you folks because, you know, the low boys, right? So let's uh, break out a seven string. And as soon as I'm done with the seven string, you're not going to hear from me anymore. So again, I am at PCP Pedals, like the banner. Uh, I think this is kind of like, if we're going to call it an official video, the first one that was shot here uh, at Park's place. And he's got a pretty good setup. He's going to be able to give you all kinds of different views and stuff, and eventually he'll be doing the pedals. Or he'll just keep having idiots like me stop by and do it. Either way, it's fun. So I'd like to thank Park for having me over again today, for letting me use his cool-ass deviant. This is purple. Look at that. Oh, sexy time. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I got a purple, not a red. But, uh, good times. Can't have everything be purple. Well, we'll use another deviant for a seven string. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's get that seven string out. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you again, like, in a week. Unless I film something in the truck. Later.